I think I knew a woman. Or maybe I was a woman. Ah, it hurts. Let's face it, you recently re-downloaded Fallout 4 thanks to the new show. I get it, I'm right there with you. So let me show you guys six of some of the most unique weapons in Fallout 4 and where you can get them. If you guys love Fallout, then make sure you subscribe because I post Fallout videos every other day of the week. Also, if you thumbs up the video, I'd super appreciate it. The Gainer is a unique 44 pistol in Fallout 4 featuring the incendiary legendary effect that sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage. This modified 44 Magnum includes standard receiver, bull barrel, comfort grip, and reflex sight. It boasts a damage of 48 and uses 44 rounds with a clip size of 6. The Gainer is a powerful and distinctive firearm in the game, offering a fiery punch to its shots. So where can you get it? Well, it's located in an unmarked location right here on your map, the Vitali Pump House. The entrance to the pump house can be found just south of Hub City Auto Wreckers and east of Finch Farm. It's located near the water. There's a small corridor that leads to the actual pump house containing two rooms. To get into the second room, one will need the combination, which can be found written on the south wall of the first room. At first glance, the code is apparently written as 0451. However, there is a 1 written higher up on the wall, making the actual code to be entered 10451. In the second room, there will be a red skeleton, and next to its left hand will be the unique weapon, the Gainer. Some interesting behind the scenes look at this location is that the lead level designer, Joel Burgess, described the pump house as an Easter egg within an Easter egg within an Easter egg on Twitter. In addition to the 051 references, the Gainer is a quiet high five to his friend, Steve Gainer, and the red skeleton is a reference to the Hideo Kojima game, Snatcher. It's pretty cool. Good Intentions is a unique laser rifle in Fallout 4 that features the enraging effect, causing enemies to frenzy on critical hits. This effect is similar to the In Sight ability from the Charisma Perk Tree, allowing high luck player characters to rapidly frenzy multiple targets. The weapon has a base damage of 28 and uses fusion cells as ammunition. One notable aspect of this weapon is that installing damage increasing mods will significantly boost critical hit damage forcing players to choose between inciting frenzy or maximizing raw damage output. The rifle can be modified with improved automatic barrel, gyro compensating lens, marksman stock, and possibly a reflex sight. To find good intentions, you better be prepared for a hard fight. It's located here at Quincy Ruins. And it's carried by none other than Lieutenant Clint, the commanding officer of the Gunners. And he's also wearing a suit of power armor. You'll find him on the overpass, usually inside of his shack or just walking around. Take him down and the gun is yours. And you also get some good payback for the Minutemen. It's a win-win. Does crippling legs sound fun to you? Do you enjoy getting up close and personal while also role-playing a manic plumber? Well then, the Big Jim might be the perfect weapon for you. Big Jim is a unique pipe wrench in Fallout 4 featuring the knee capper effect that gives every hit a 20% chance of crippling the target's leg. It's special for getting some gratifying punishment on those pathetic raiders. I mean, if you're into that. You can find the weapon here at Walden Pond. Big Jim is found on a metal set of drawers under the gift shop at Walden Pond. The door to the basement is master level locked, but a note to the side of the door mentions an unlocked sewer entrance inside the big pipe at the pond. Alternatively, the door can be accessed by acquiring the key from Walter, a raider who is also located at Walden Pond. So however you get it, whether that's going through the sewers, lock picking your way in, or taking the key from Walter, enjoy this unique effect. It's a fun one. This one is an all-time favorite of any fan that has wound up with this nuclear machine. The Big Boy. The Big Boy is a legendary fat man with the two-shot effect, allowing it to shoot two mini nukes at once for the cost of only one giving it the most damage potential from a single shot in the entire game. The Big Boy is compatible with the Merv Launcher mod, meaning the Big Boy will shoot 12 mini nukes while only consuming one. The blast radius of this weapon's mini nukes is substantially larger than normal, and that the nukes lose their momentum and fall to the ground after splitting. In addition, the cost of this weapon is high, at around 14,000 caps with no charisma or related perks or effects. 
making it one of the most expensive weapons in the base game. It's also compatible with the Nuka Nuke Launcher's unique modification, meaning that one can effectively do double the damage of the regular Fat Man and 50% more than the regular Big Boy. The only downside is having to actually craft the Nuka Nuke ammo for it. Finding it is the easy part. Just head on down to Diamond City and speak to Arturo Rodriguez. Like I said before, it's basically the most expensive item in the game, so be prepared to fork out some caps. Maybe get those water farms going ASAP. Also, don't get yourself killed. Are you a Brotherhood member? And do you hate the abominations that plague the wasteland, including those vile super mutants? Then all you need to do is look for a rogue institute scientist named Virgil and steal his laser rifle. Virgil's rifle is a unique institute rifle in Fallout 4, featuring the mutant slayers effect which deals 50% more damage against super mutants. It comes equipped with several mods including a gamma wave emitter, improved long barrel, full stock, medium night vision scope, and a fine tuned beam focuser. To find the weapon, you need to travel here, into the glowing sea. This is kind of spoilery for Fallout 4, so if you haven't played the game, maybe skip this next part if that's the case. The weapon is carried by Virgil and can only be acquired from him through theft or by killing him. It's worth noting that if the sole survivor decides not to give Virgil the serum and makes him attack, they won't acquire the rifle, so be careful. Personally, I would just steal it off the big lug, but like I said before, if cleansing the wasteland of abominations is your thing, then what's another dead mutie gonna cost? Last on the list today is a super underrated weapon, or I think so. I don't know, I don't really stay up to date on the meta in single player games. Lefusel Terribles, or however you say that, meaning the terrible shotgun in French, is a mean son of a bitch. A unique combat shotgun bearing the violent effect, which deals plus 25% damage slash limb damage, but also significantly increases the recoil, giving you the power to blow off the limbs of most of your enemies at ease. But the recoil can be devastating, so make sure to modify it to give it less recoil and you're good to go. To find this beautiful weapon, you must travel to Libertalia. Libertalia is a massive raider encampment made up of the remnants of wrecked ships and debris. The gun is located at the top of a lootable wooden crate within the captain's cabins at the top of the compound. The crate is located immediately across the room from the door beside a burning lantern. You'll have to fight your way to it, so good luck. It's a hell of a thing when you're playing on survival. That does it for today's video. Follow me on Twitter, there's a link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it'd mean a lot to me. Thank you guys for watching, have a good one, I'll see you in the next.